Morning everybody. Today is Saturday. Um, is it the 9th or 10th of August? Something like that. So, last week um, there was a problem with the clutch cable. <coughs> so what I've done is, just let me get my old one. I've ordered a new one which has come. So this is the old one. That's the old one that I took off. Um, and in there from Wimoto is the new one with a gas gate and stuff like that. So I'm going I'm to take this casing off and have a look in there today. <coughs> Just see why that clutch wasn't working. So um, the first thing I'll do is get this side panel off. Oh, and I've priced up some new indicators. They want £25 each. So that'd be a hundred quid to replace all four indicators. It's fucking ridiculous. So anyway, although I don't need the back two, I just need the front two. Don't, well, actually, I just need one, don't I? So yeah, so, so it's going to cost me 25 quid just to replace one bloody indicator. Right, <clears throat> um, so what I'll do is I'll get this side panel off and then I'll get back to it. Right, I had to take the whole belly pan off because them two up there at the bottom, they were on solid and I couldn't get to them, and, and this one as well, look. Um, I couldn't get a, 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 a I haven't got an 8mm eight mil socket, so I couldn't get a spanner in and stuff like that, but anyway. So, at least it shows me the whole engine now, anyway. Um, so what I'll do now is I will take this casing off now, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what the crack is then. Right, um, so I've st this is, I started recording but I had the camera on the wrong setting, um, I had it on picture and I thought I was recording so I've just been talking for about an hour for nothing. So what I was saying was, I've taken the belly pan off, um, but I had to take it off as one lump because, oh, you see them two brackets down there, the belly pan brackets, they rusted us out. Um, and I couldn't get the bolts out, so that's why I took the belly pan off as like one piece, if that makes sense. Fuck's sake, man. So let me put that there a minute, because it's, I know I'm dragging it about a bit, but. Uh, so then what I have did was, I took the side casing off, um, and this is where I'm at now. So, on first inspection, there are some water droplets there, a little bit of, so I think that's just condensation to be honest with you. Um, I definitely don't think there's a leak in the, in the, you know, from the water to the engine. Um, I think that's just more condensation. Um, so what's supposed to happen is, if you imagine this, this casing on the bike like that, with the, the cable attached it. When you pull your cable in, it's supposed to pull towards you like that. And looking at it from inside of the engine, you'll see there that what it's supposed to do is turn that like that. And in turn, what that does is it's supposed to pull this out. Now, obviously, I'm not strong enough to pull that with you know two four six springs so what i'll do is um i'll take all this off and we'll just we'll just give it a once over and put it back together right so let me undo them right so all i've done is i've got my little allen key and i've just cracked every one of them off so obviously i started it like that and then like that and like that and uh, you can see that if you don't do it right you smack your fingers on stuff um, so these now will just come out so I'll wind them out crisscrossy style until I get them out fucking finger won't stop bleeding now now obviously at the factory they'll have a machine where it's got like six bloody allen keys on one tool won't they 
just put it on in a wide old six in. I don't think they'll do one at once like we've got to do. But you can see there, look, that they're all nearly out now. Just uh, keep turning this one. This is so easy to turn now, it's going to drop out. Is that any second? Right, see how the, see how the screw is moving away from the spring now? That's how I know it's ready to come out. So if we do this one, if you keep watching, you'll see. Uh, looks they're starting to wobble so these are oops, nearly as damn it out um, when you're taking this out take note of the plates I know the manual should show you but it's always worthwhile just taking a quick photograph of the plates Outside as well in a car park. So all these will these will just you see how loose they are now. They're they're loose now. So these are ready to come out. So rather than trying all the camera and do it, I'll just take them out and get back to you. So they're out now. And I'm trying to keep everything in order as well. So as you can see, that's the order of the bolts going in. But what I'll do is. Um, I mean all these bolts are the same size but I'll, I'll show you if you do get them mixed up and this is to do with anything how to know if it's the right bolt or not <coughs> so I've taken them out so in theory now this should just pop off oops right see what I mean about the plates look one's dropped down already and we know that that goes in there so let me just put that back in It's hard work holding a camera and trying to do it with one hand. Ah, oh, shit, let me, I'll just pull it out. Oop, something dropped then. I'm sure I heard something then. Shit. What's that? Look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know what the fuck that is. Ah, oh, bollocks, look. I wonder if that bearing's fucked, that's why the clutch won't work in. I bet it was. So let me just put this plate back on. So we know that that one went in there like that. And then we know that... This one went in there like that. Right. So we've got a washer. Right, look at that. That bearing's fucked, in it? Look at all bits of metal here. that bearing out right so that I think is why my clutch wasn't working so there look I need a new thrust bearing but what I'll have to do is obviously check in here for any, I need to get a magnet in there or something like that. Or I need to count how many holes there are and how many of them things there are. Right, two seconds. Right. So I've accounted for all these, the stuff. Um, let me try and, I'll try and show you which screwdriver, but I think this is magnetic, so. But there's one, two, three four five six seven eight of them pins and we've got one two three four five six seven eight holes so we've got eight holes where them pin that's a bit better look you can see it there so that's where a pin should be that's where a pin should be there there and there 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 and there so that's one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight so we've accounted for all the pins but there is just a little bit of that um pin casing somewhere now i did find one of the pins in here um so i think the best thing for me to do is obviously i can't do this today because i need to order one of them thrush bearings take this home give it a right good clean 
I might need to take all the clutch plates home, give them a good clean as well. I can't take the clutch basket off because I've, I've nothing to hold it. Um, but I think uh, an oil change is uh, scheduled, isn't it? I don't know if it's out in there, look, you see. I can take that home, can't I, and give that a good clean as well. So at least I've found what the problem is, guys. That's why my clutch wouldn't work. So I'm guessing that that clutch cable I've just fucking replaced was the right lens. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so I'm well. I'm, I'm assuming that that's I'm assuming that's why the clutch wouldn't work. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll take all these out and then uh, I'll wrap them up. Right, I've got them all out. There's twelve clutch plates in total. Well, 12, 12 of them, and then there'll be 12 metal ones. Um, so, that's a big clutch, isn't it? And then obviously you can see that all the plates are out because that moves independently now of the main clutch basket. Uh, I'm not gonna bother taking that off, but what I'll do before I put this back together, I'll bring a bit of degreaser down and just blather some degreaser in there and then turn it back on this side. Well, not on this side, but lean it over if that makes sense um so what i shall do um in that kit there i've got a new seal for this anyway so i'll get this home take this out i'll do a video on that and then um i'll give all these a right good fucking clean so i need a bag don't i um i definitely need a bag and i've bought a new gasket as well so I've got a new gasket in that in there as well, so um, right. What I'll do with this old gasket is I'll just put this on here. Uh where's that other fucking ping on? There, look that other. So I think it goes on like Is it like that? No. Must be upside down. I've got it upside down, haven't I? Nope. That's it. Right, so I've just put the gasket on there, just temporary. Although I've got a brand new one in there. Um, so I need a new thrust washer for this. Um, and I'll deep, full, thoroughly degrease all these. And then uh, we'll, we'll put it back together. Jobs are good one. Right. It's coming a bit overcast, it was supposed to be bloody really sunny today, but it's coming a bit overcast. So I'll put this away, I'll get my millie out and we'll have a spin on that. Right, my zx 12s back in, but I had to put the casing on. Because obviously when I stood it up, the oil was going to come out. So I need to take that back off, I've only put it on with one bolt at the bottom. So I'll take that back off, put it in my bag, take it home and wash it all. I've just been for a blast down yard with my millie. Do you know what I do? It's a noisy fucker, is this. But I am liking this bike more and more each time I ride it. It's just right size for me. My knees, my legs go up here, under there. It's, uh, yeah. It's lovely. It is a bit noisy though, I must admit. And the petrol, I'm nearly out of gas. Gas. Fucking, I'm like a fucking American. I'm nearly out of petrol, so. Um. <laughs> That's first time every time now. So I'll lose, I'll just ride it over there. And then, um, these gear lever things, what a fucking waste of time there, I'm going to take that off. It don't even work, so I'm going to take that off, it's a lot of shit is that. Right. So, I'll get this casing off, take the battery off my miller, pack up and go because it was starting to rain. 
um, and then I'll do a video at home guys cleaning all my stuff and you know my clutch and whatever and then obviously I'll do a video putting it back together see you later